Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Ankush. Welcome back to a new exciting After Effects tutorial. For those of you who are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell button to get the latest updates. Today, I will show you how to create a nice floating text effect, something like this. So without further ado, let's fire up After Effects. Now guys, if you are following me on Instagram or Facebook, I believe you have noticed that couple of days back I have posted this effect over there and some of you have asked me to make a tutorial for this effect. So let me show you, here is my template. These are three base layers, first one is camera, second is our main take animation and third one is the background layer and now i'm going to show you how i have achieved this effect at first let's create a new composition here i'm selecting full hd resolution with 25 fps and 5 seconds of timing now at first i will create a new text layer and i'll write floating now i'm going to use a font called coco goose if you want to use this font, I will leave a link in the description. But you are always free to choose your own font according to your taste. Now let's align this text layer into the middle. Now I will activate rulers from here. Now I will drag this top ruler in middle somewhere here. Now I will change the text position somewhere here. Now going through this drop down option, go to animate and add an anchor point. Now at first I'll delete this anchor point option from here. Now here we don't have to change anything under this path options. And under this more options, I will change this anchor point grouping to word. Then going through animator 1, range selector 1, I will modify some options. Now here. I will keep the start at 0% and I will end it to 20%. Now going through advanced, I will modify this amount percentage. So here at the start of our timeline, I will make it 0 and I will create a new keyframe here. Then I will go to 15 frames and I will increase the amount percentage to 100%. Now if I will move this timeline cursor, you can see it's not doing anything because we haven't done anything yet to animate our text. Now what I'll do by going through this add and properties, I will add rotation. Now here I'm going to use the wiggle expression. If you are not familiar with wiggle expression, I'd like to suggest you please check my previous video. I have linked that video as a suggested video which is coming on the top right corner. And now for this wiggle expression, by holding alt or option key, click on the stopwatch button and I will write wiggle open parenthesis 0 0.4 comma 6 close parenthesis now if i'll move this timeline cursor you can see the first two letters are moving like this now i will duplicate this animator one now here under animator two by going to range selector one i will change start percentage to 20 percent and end percentage would be 40 percent and also i will change the keyframe timing and now let's zoom into the timeline so we can see it properly now i'll drag this last keyframe at here now here i will also change the wiggle value to 0 0.8 comma 10. now as you can see next two letters are moving now i'll duplicate this animator 2 again again i will do the same going through this range selector 1 I will change the start and end percentage here instead of 20 I will start from 40 and will end at 60. Now going to advanced I will change the keyframe timing. Now this time I will drop the last keyframe at here at 12 frames. And again I will change the wiggle value. Now this time I will use a value of 0 0.5 comma 10. Now again I will duplicate this animated tree this time i will start from 60 and will end at 80. 
again going through this advanced i will change the last keyframe to 11 frames also i will change the wiggle value to 0.7 comma 5 now as you can see it has started giving a nice wave loop now i'll duplicate this animator again and this time i'll start from 80 and we'll end at 100 percent this time i will drag this last keyframe at 16 frames and going through this rotation i will change the wiggle value to 0 0.6 comma 6. now if i'll move this timeline cursor you can see the text has started giving a nice web look now by selecting our text layer hit u to reveal all keyframes and now what i'm going to do i will copy these fast keyframes from here and i will drop it at the end of our timeline so let's copy from here and i will paste it at here like this and this now what i can do you can simply copy the second keyframes from here and you can paste it at the end according to their timing or else what i can do if you can remember the first keyframe was at 15 frames second one was at 8 frames third one was at 12 fourth was at 11 and the last one was at 16 frames so what i'll do let's zoom into the timeline at first let's move these last keyframes at the end of our timeline and now i'll move the timeline cursor 15 frames from last and that will be 4 seconds and 10 frames now simply what i'll do here i will write 100 and for the second one i'll go to 8 frames from last and that will be 17 frames and here i will type 100 and for third one i'll go to 4 second and 13 frames and i will type 100 and fourth one was at 11 frames so it would be 4 second and 14 frames at here and last one was at 16 frames so that will be 4 second and 9 frames now let's run a ramp preview so as our text animation has completed i will pre-compose this layer so in future we can edit this text layer easily and i will name it text precomp and hit ok now i'll add a new solid you can choose any color you want because we'll be using it for effects and you can name it anything you want but i will name it numerically one so that it won't conflict with our previous template solid layers now we don't need this ruler anymore so i will deactivate this ruler and guide layers from here now going through this effect panel i will drop an effect called turbulent noise and here i'm going to change some settings at first going through this transform I will uncheck this uniform scaling and also I will increase the scale width to 600 and I will reduce the scale height to minimal that is 20. Also I will change the evolution so I will create a keyframe at the start of our timeline. Now let's drag this timeline cursor to the end of our timeline and now I will write 3 at here. Now I will open opacity. And I will move this timeline cursor to 4 seconds here. Now I will create a opacity keyframe here. And I will drag this timeline cursor to the end of our timeline. And I will reduce the opacity to 0%. Now I will duplicate this layer. At first I will open opacity. Now I will delete the opacity keyframe. But make sure to keep it 100%. And here I will change the evolution settings. So what I'll do at first, I will delete evolution keyframes from here. Now at the start of our timeline, I will write minus 3 into 0. And we'll go to end of our timeline and I will make it 0. And I will drag this top layer below this layer at here. Now I will name it numerically 2. So later we can recognize this layer. And if I'll run a ramp preview, you can see it's giving a nice web look. Now I'll create another solid, but this time make sure to use a black color and hit OK. And by selecting this layer, hit Q to select rectangle tool and draw a shape like this. Uh, this shape should be in the middle. For reference, you can activate proportional grid. Now in mask 1, increase the mask feather to 
403 and in mask 1 beside add check this inverted box like this now by selecting these three layers i will precompose them and i will name it noise now i will duplicate this noise precomp now i will drag this duplicated layer below our text precomp layer now by selecting text precomp layer i will drop another effect called displacement map now one thing i have forgotten to show you let's go to noise precomp and if you can see this blending mode over here just click on this toggle option so the blending mode option will be visible and just change this top layer blending mode to overlay now i'll deactivate the proportional grid from here now i'll close this noise precomp and also i will deactivate this proportional grid from here now i'll select text precomp and here i will modify some settings at first here beside displacement map layer i will select our last noise layer and beside max horizontal displacement i will write 100 and beside max vertical displacement i will increase it to 64 and now i will deactivate this last noise layer now if you can see the track mat option click on this toggle option and for this text precomp i will change this track mat to luma mat now i'll open scale and rotation at first i will delink its scale and i will change its scale value to negative 100 and i'll rotate it to 180 degree like this also i will change its position just somewhere here like this now by selecting top noise layer i will drop an effect called curves now i will change some settings like this and something like this now by selecting all three layers i will precompose them and i will name it wave effect now going through project panel i will drag and drop this text precomp layer on top of wave effect now i'll create a new solid you can choose any color you want now open opacity and reduce its opacity so we can see the below layers through this solid layer now i will change the text layer position something like this now by selecting solid layer grab this pen tool and draw a mask like this but while drawing you don't have to be perfect because we can adjust it later and somewhere here and somewhere here now i will animate this mask path so open mask and drag this timeline cursor to the start of the timeline now here click on shape now i'll change this left to zero and top would be zero i will change the bottom to 525 and i will create a keyframe over here now i will go to one second now here i will change the bottom pixel to 522 and then go to two seconds here i will change this value to 527 point eight again i will go to three seconds here i will change the bottom value to 540 then i'll go to four seconds and i will repeat the same but this time i will change the right and the bottom value so for right value i will type 2008 and for bottom i will use 527.6 and then i'll go to 4 second and 15 frames just in the middle of 4 and 5 seconds here i will change the right value to 2002 and i will change the bottom value to 529 and i will go to the end of the timeline and i will copy this first keyframe from here and i will paste it here like this now if you can see our mask is animating like this and I will rename this layer to mat1 and also I will duplicate this layer and I will drag this mat1 layer on top of our wave effect precomp. Now for both of these layers increase opacity to 100% and beside this wave editor select alpha inverted mat and beside text precomp select alpha mat. Now it's time to change the text and wave effect layer position at first as you can see g is not completely visible so by going through text precomp i'll select g and i'll pull it up a bit like this 
Now this is looking perfect to me. Now finally I'll tweak this position like this. This is looking perfect to me. Now by selecting all these layers, I will pre-compose them and I will name text animation. Now in this project panel, I will duplicate this text animation and I will name it glow. Now I will drag and drop this glow precomp into our main timeline. Now I will open this glow precomp and I will delete bottom two layers like this. And now by selecting text precomp, I will drop an effect called fill. Here I will select a dark black color. Then I will drop another effect called simple choker. Here I will increase the choker match to 20. Then I will drop another effect called bevel alpha. Here I will increase the edge thickness to 20. Also I will change the light angle to 45 and I will increase the light intensity to 1. Now on the same layer I will drop another effect called luma key. Here I will increase the threshold to maybe 160 or maybe 168 yeah this is looking nice to me the light thickness depends on your taste now finally i'll drop in another fill effect on the same layer or maybe what i can do i can duplicate this fill effect from here and i can drag it down on the bottom of our other effect and here i will use a white fill color like this now i'll close this glow precomp now here i'll duplicate this layer and on top layer i will drop an effect called fast blur like this and i will increase the blurriness maybe 20 or maybe 29 will do for me yeah this is looking nice to me now i'm going to drop and fill effect on our text animation layer so now i believe you can see the reflection or the glow part and i'm going to use a nice orange color or maybe a bit yellowish orange like this now I will select all these layers and I will pre-compose them. Here I will name animation main. Now finally as you can see I have already imported a background picture over here. I will drag this background picture and I will drop on the bottom of our animation pre-comp. Now I will adjust its scale so it should fill the screen properly. And also I will pre-compose this background picture so in future we can edit it easily now beside this background precomp if you can see this option just click on this toggle so this option will be visible and just turn it to 3d now open rotation and change x rotation to negative 40 also open its position and scale and scale it up so it should fill our screen like this yeah this is looking nice to me now guys as i have done in our main template i will add a camera but if you don't want to use the camera, you can skip this part. And if you want to follow me, you can process the next step. Now I will change the animation main precom to 3D. And also I will rotate it to negative 40. And also I will change the background layer position like this. And I will scale it up something like this. And also I will pull up this animation main layer somewhere here yeah this is looking perfect to me or maybe i can change its rotation a bit yeah this is also looking nice to me or maybe i can keep it somewhere here just like this now guys i'm going to create a new camera here i'm using two node 50 mm camera and i will drag this camera layer on top of other layers now open position now i'll create a position keyframe here and i will drag this keyframe to the end of our timeline also i will go to camera option here i will activate depth of field now i'll create an aperture keyframe at here and i will drag this keyframe to second and 15 frames now at the start of our timeline i'll increase the aperture to 500 and i will change its position something like this also i'll increase the background layer scale like this now let's run a final ram preview yeah this is looking nice to me now guys finally i'll create a vignette so i'll create a new solid make sure to use a black color here i will name it vig in short now by selecting this solid layer hit q to select ellipse tool and double click on ellipse tool 
now going to mask one check this inverted box i will increase the mask feather to 430 and also i will reduce the mask opacity to 55 yeah this is looking nice to me so guys this is our final animation now guys if you want to change the wave or the text layer position either you can do it by going through text animation precomp or you can simply go to text precomp and from there you can change the text layer position so that's all guys have a look into our final animation so that's all for the day if you do like this video please hit the like button still if you are new to this channel then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I believe this tutorial will save your bills from buying paid templates. So a minimum support through donation will be very much appreciated. And guys, I'm also live on Instagram TV. If you want to follow me there, here's my channel link coming on screen. So thank you guys. Thank you for your time. I will bless it to you. Bye and see you again. Peace.